God, happy Thursday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Yes, yes, yes. So for all, we, we, we've got several, several new people on this morning. So we'll tell you kind of what we do. We just, sometimes we'll have a guest on. Uh, a lot of times myself and Andrea will just, we, we, we hopefully get words from you guys and we'll take a word and just expand on the word for about 12 to 15 minutes um, and uh, just spend some time together. So uh, our word for today is respect, respect. Looking at the definition, it's a feeling or admiring someone or something that is good, valuable, important, uh, respect. So I went right to Richard Branson. And one thing that he said, and I love this, I love this. It said, respect is how to treat everyone, everyone, not just those you want to impress. And when I look at that quote, and I've heard that quote over and over and over again, um, it really reminds me of one of my coaches that, 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 that I had the opportunity to be mentored by that when I was a coach, he would tell me, Brent, make sure that you're treating the worst player on your team the same way you're treating the best player on your team. And it seems so easy, right, to go, oh, well, of course I do that. You know, but, but if you're in business, are you treating your worst sales rep? Let's just say it's sales. Are you treating your worst salesperson? as good as your best salesperson. Um, it, it goes, you know, it, it's tough to do. It's tough to do. It's tough to, uh, to, to keep that up always, but, but man, when you can, and when you do, um, and you show that respect, I believe the respect is given back to you tenfold. Um, so I, when my part today is how to earn respect. If you're looking to earn respect, you want people to go, you know what? I respect you. Here's some things to do. Give it. Give respect to other people. Just like we just said, it'll be returned to you. Number two, constantly keep your promises. Somebody that's breaking promises is somebody that's not going to be very highly respected. So I got to keep my promises. You know, if I'm in business and I go make a quote, like, like follow through with it, you know, and that's probably a tough thing to do, right? It's kind of like in sales when follow up is tough, but if it's like, Hey, I'll be there Tuesday. And then a week goes by and they don't ever hear from you. There's probably going to be a loss of respect there. So keep your promises. Let your actions speak louder than your words. I always say this, lead with the tongue in your shoes, not the tongue in your mouth. Let the people see the walk happening. You know, um, you'll get respect. Help others when you need, when they need it. You know, like I'm thinking right now and I'm going, you know, if we all collectively as a community individually went, okay, I'm going to look out there and I'm going to, when people need help, I'm going to be there to administer it. And it's not always money. It doesn't take money. It might be a yard cutting for the neighbor that's, that's elderly. Uh, it might be uh, someone that's going through tough times. Maybe it's this hurricane coming through. Like, what can I do to help? Um, respect's going to be earned. Ask for help when you need it. When I come across this one, I thought, that's pretty good. So quit trying to do it all on your own. People will respect us more if we could just go, you know what? Could you help me with this? Um, say what you mean. Now, that doesn't mean be a jerk. That doesn't mean you got to walk around brutally honest all the time. Like, I don't like your hair. I like your hair. I, you know, some people, some people think that, you know, just being just whatever is, is like, no, nah, I don't think that's what they're saying. 
ask for him. I mean, uh, say what you mean. I think it's just standing firm, having your beliefs, your vision, where you're going, and staying steadfast with that. You know, say what you mean. Always strive to do better. I believe that's what this Coach's Corner is all about. It's a bunch of people coming together from all walks of life that says, hey, we were put on this earth to thrive, not to survive. We want to be better. Better today than what we were yesterday. Better tomorrow than what we are today. And then the last is admit, admit to your mistakes. So it said in here, and I actually started looking into this a little more actually this morning. Admit to your mistakes that people will respect you more when you have the ability, when you when we slip up to go, you know what? I'm it's my fault. I'm in the wrong. And might take them a little bit, but they walk away with a greater, deeper respect for you for doing it. So that's kind of the things I looked at this morning, Andrea. Um, I almost said good word. I've got Tracy in the back of my head mm -hmm. going, you say that on every word. So uh, I say every word is fun. So I, I hear Tracy too. So good morning, Tracy. Good morning, everybody. This was a fun word, but it really was. So the I, I love this one. The quote that I found was teach others how to treat you by first treating yourself res with respect. If you do not respect yourself, it will be hard to demand that others treat you with respect. And I, I love that you, you know, talked more about how to earn respect from others because I think that's so powerful. I know that there have been people in my life and I know that there's been times for myself when I've demanded respect or tried to when I hadn't earned it. And that never goes well, right? And like when somebody tries to demand respect from you, you're like, mm, no, but if you earn it, I will gladly, happily give it. And, but sometimes we have to look at the other side and that's what I'm gonna look at. And that is how to respect ourselves. So what can we do in our life to give ourselves a little bit more respect? And so first of all, set boundaries and you know, this kind of goes to what coach was talking about, about, you know, being direct. And there's a big dif difference between being direct and being rude. And sometimes if you are, my hand is so high, if you're a little bit of a people pleaser, and if other people's opinions really matter to you, it can be hard sometimes to have those firm boundaries, but they are so important. So whatever it may be, you know, I really love you, but if X, Y, and Z happens, I'm going to have to walk away from this table, or this topic is not something that I'm comfortable with, or, you know, a million different things. Um, but those boundaries, they might feel hard, but it's a huge way and an important way to respect yourself and strengthen those relationships, right? Number two, <laughs> avoid putting yourself down. I don't know if anybody else on here lives with an inner critic that just yammers away about all the things that I'm doing wrong in a day. Oh, you pronounced that word wrong. You did this wrong. You did that wrong, blah, 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 blah. Like all day long, she never shuts up. And so we really have to fight to make sure that none of those words come out of your mouth because um, that has even more power. And then try to shush that horrible little demon sometimes that can live between our ears. So let go of that inner critic and shush her up or him up, right? Number three, say no. And Arlene and I have talked about this a little bit more. Um, that book you guys have all heard about, it's like one of my favorite books of the best yes. And sometimes the best yes looks like a no because every time we say yes to something that isn't in our best interest, we're saying no to something else. So, and a lot of times we're saying no to ourselves. So work on saying no to the things that do not serve you. Number four, manage your emotions. And this was a good lesson for Andrea. I'm an emotional little human and sometimes I can feel them all before I even know it, right? Like everybody's gonna hear about it before I've even processed it. But we wanna work to you know, slow down, 
um, and not react to every single emotion that we have. Because when we do, we can absolutely overwhelm ourselves. So learning to, yes, you got it, Rick, that roller coaster. Um, so learning to control your emotions, see them, acknowledge them, um, get to the root of where it's coming from, let go or address what needs to be addressed. All of that is part of respecting ourselves. Next, learn to stand up for yourself. And again, this goes against those people pleasing grains, but when something bumps up against a boundary or when somebody does you dirty, right? Learn to stand up for yourself and respect yourself enough to say, mm, 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 that, that's not gonna work for me. Next, do the right thing. So when you have self-respect, doesn't mean you're perfect, doesn't mean you don't do anything wrong, but you work to having good habits and good values and being a trustworthy human. You know, you tell people the truth, um, even when something isn't right or it feels uncomfortable, um, you make the moral choice, even if it's not exactly what you want or it can have harsh con consequences, you just do the right thing and you do it consistently. And next you find a mentor, someone you respect, who treats you with respect and work with them, right? There's going to be people in your life that treat you really well, and they kind of treat you how you should treat yourself. So surround yourself with those people. And especially if you see somebody that really respects themselves, that can be a really powerful mentor for us to have. And then next is be authentically you. It's okay to march to the beat of your own drum. Sometimes in this world where a lot is so public, it can feel a little bit uncomfortable, but that's, that's part of your core. That's who you are. And by just allowing yourself to, to be that little bit quirky, doing things a little bit different than maybe everybody else, that's you being authentic and that's respecting yourself. And then lastly, take care of you. We all hear about this self-care, self-care, self-care. That can look different from all of us right? Or for all of us. Maybe that means you go grocery shopping by yourself. That is a lovely afternoon in the roster household, right? Maybe it means that you take the bubble bath or whatever, but maybe it also means that you go for that run, even when it's not convenient in your day. Maybe it means you eat well. Maybe it means you get enough sleep, but take care of you, respect the vessel that you are living in. So I don't care, Tracy. I love you, but this was a fun one. I thought that was really powerful. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a great Thursday. Great lesson. That's That was awesome. Ready to get this day started, guys. We love you. We appreciate you. Happy Thursday. We'll see you back tomorrow. Close out the week. Have a great day. Love everybody. the message.